Um, just in case you were wondering, yes, this tank is empty back here now. However, nothing happened to the snake that was in it. We just put her in a different spot um, so we can actually set that one up for my turtle for the winter weather. Um, there's going to be, a, uh, if there's not already up, there's going to be a makeup tutorial for this um, rainbow lip and eye, by the way. Um, but besides that, this vlog is a comparison of the show House of the Dragon with the book Fire and Blood, sometimes with the book World of Ice and Fire, although they're basically the same uh, type of information, just condensed in the World of Ice and Fire. Fire and Blood is pretty condensed too, um, but today I wanted to read about Prince Damon becoming um, commander of the City Watch. I'm on page 354, but all the way at the bottom, it says, um, Damon um, married Rhea Royce, but then asked to be apart from her. Viserys wouldn't annul it. That's going to be another video, but um, he did let Damon come to the small council. So he sat on the small council serving as master of coin from 103 to 104 AC after the conquest and master of laws for half a year in 104. Governance bored this warrior prince, however. He did better when King Viserys made him commander of the city watch. Finding the watchmen ill-armed and clad in oddments and rags, Damon equipped each man with a dirk, sword sword, and cudgel, armored them in black ring mail, and gave them long golden cloaks that they might wear with pride. Ever since, the men of the city watch have been known as gold cloaks. Gold cloaks are in existence all the way up through the Game of Thrones um, show and books. So they're, they're mentioned often, um, but Daemon Targaryen is the one that founded that. Um, so in the show, he was quite brutal with the gold cloaks, but he was trying to like enforce the law. Um, but it says that it made, that he made the city more orderly. No man could doubt, but his discipline was a brutal one. He delighted in cutting off the hands of pickpockets, gelding, our words, and slitting the noses of thieves and slew three men in street brawls during his first year as commander. Before long, the prince was well known in all the low places in King's Landing. He became a familiar sight in wine sinks where he drank for free, gambling pits where he always left with more than he came in with. There's a bit about Masaria in here. I won't go into that. Damon regarded himself as the rightful heir to the Iron Throne and coveted the title Prince of Dragonstone. Interesting, which his grace refused to grant him, but by the end of year 105 AC, he was known to his friends as the Prince of the City and to the small folk as Lord Fleabottom. That relationship with the small folk really comes into play later in this show um, and story. And it's partly why Damon tries to teach up Rhaenyra a little bit about paying attention to what the people want he knows you know and they're they respect him so yeah that's the origin story of the city watch with prince damon uh pretty much like the show actually except they um you know show some of the things he cuts off there is a part in here where i found it um, regarding the former titles that he held, Sir Otto convinced Viserys to remove Prince Damon as Master of Coin and then as Master of Laws. Actions the Hand soon came to regret, because as commander of the City Watch, with 2,000 men under his command, Damon waxed more powerful than ever. So Otto convinced Viserys to remove those other titles. He became commander of the City Watch, kind of created the City Watch as the Gold Cloaks, and so on and so on from there. So that is about Damon and the City Watch. Thanks for watching. That power already? Sorry. Doo -doo -doo. Um, um, so, um, but it says, um, Maybe I already read it.